Many were not pleased when Pastor Alfred Hosford delivered a sermon at the nation's 41st independence anniversary, pointing out how sexually charged Grenadians seem to be. We can confess our sins to the O oh God, and there's so many of them. We're fully aware that we have strayed from the path of righteousness and rectitude. There's so many issues that we face in the land, O oh God. Our families and marriages are in disarray. Lord God, our nation is sexually obsessed. We have issues with corruption in all different levels of our society. We can feel that as a nation we violated your standards of sexuality. Our schools are in disorder, indiscipline among children, hooliganism. The song that we sing, leave much to be desired. However, the records show that sex crimes continue to increase with each passing year. The cause list for matters before the High Court for January has a total of 134 cases listed, of which 68 are of a sexual nature. What is more alarming is that many of these reported cases involve children. Deputy Director of Legal Aid and Counseling Clinic, Tyrone Buckmeyer, in an exclusive interview with GBN via the telephone, expressed concern with the number of sexual offenses taking place in the country. He said that these acts speak to the mindset of some people in our society. We're concerned because it speaks to a couple of things. It speaks to well, an apparent lack of respect on the part of perpetrators for, for the for dignity and, and the integrity of these children that they're violating sexually time and again. So that's, a, that's an area of major concern because if you, when you have a society where people, so many of the men or so many men in our society are you know, flagrantly and often repeatedly, consistently violating our young girls, our young children, it calls for concern. It does not say something good about the society. Saying no to sexual advances no longer seem an option for many, as children under the age of 10 have become a target for these sex offenders. Buckmeyer is calling on the general public to speak out on issues of sexual abuse, sending a clearer message that these acts will not be accepted. It concerns us from a point of view of the apparent tolerance for this kind of behavior in our society. But part of our reality as a small society is that these crimes thrive in an atmosphere of silence. It means that people are not taking the, the maybe sufficient um interest in, in the protection of children and persons in general. And so we're not getting that kind of public outcry that will say in a very, very clear way that this, this behavior is unacceptable. The Legal Aid Deputy Director is commending the lawmakers for amending the sexual offenses legislation, making new provisions for dealing with these offenses. These are now transcending in recent sentences handed down by the High Court, hopefully a deterrent to those especially men who claim young young relationships is the new style, referring to young girls. On Tuesday's edition of Good Morning Grenada, an on-air poll conducted revealed that 90% of callers thought a sex offender's registry is also needed as a way of tracking the locations of repeat offenders and their proximity to children. Delroy Lewisan, GBN News.